Yangon is a street food lover's paradise. And whilst most people may think of Vietnam and Thailand while discussing top street eats in Southeast Asia, the capital of Myanmar, with not only its own strong food personality, but influences from the surrounding countries, offers fresh and varied dishes at all hours of the day. So there's so much on offer, it's kind of hard to know where exactly to start with street food sometimes. But I figured a good place to start this evening is with this deep fried gourd. Now the gourd is chopped, covered in a thick batter and then deep fried in quite a lot of oil like a lot of the street food snacks here. And then it's served with lettuce and a lovely tamarind sauce which has a little bit of a sour flavour. Mm. It's actually a bit of heat to that sauce. Now the batter on the outside is lovely and crispy. Similar to a batter that you'd have round vegetable tempura or a fish and chip batter back in the UK. And then the gourd has been cooked absolutely perfectly. So it's lovely and soft and almost melts in your mouth. Now this is a street food dessert called Shriji, pronunciation terrible, I'm sure. And you can find it all across the city. This cost me about 10 cents from a very lovely lady. And it's made out of coconut. I imagine also quite a lot of sugar. And it's actually quite oily. It's almost melting onto my fingers here. Mm. It's actually not that sweet. It's got almost a rice-like texture and then there's a slightly caramelised flavour on the top there which is delicious. Mm. I feel like this would actually be quite a nice breakfast snack. It's not too heavy but it will fill you up for the day. Now this next snack I'm going to try is called Kopiat and I've been told that it's a very traditional Burmese street food snack. I did ask the vendor, is it like a spring roll? And she definitively told me no. However, I am getting spring roll vibes. So I'm thinking that maybe she said this to differentiate it between its Thai and Chinese counterparts. Mm. So it's stuffed filled with vegetables. No meat in there at all, I don't think. And it's got a very crispy outer shell, and she dipped it in chili sauce for me. So this end had gone a little bit soggy. And you can actually see there's layers around the outside, which has then been deep fried. As with a lot of Burmese snacks, it is quite oily, but that's very delicious. So this next snack I don't actually know the local word for, but I was told it's a coconut jelly. It is wobbly like a jelly, although it doesn't really look like I should be eating it. It looks like I should put it in a bath. Now the flavour is actually pretty nice. Just a kind of subtle coconut flavour, but it's actually quite a weird texture. Especially because there's two different bits. The very top bit tastes like, yeah, like a jelly, but then the thicker bit at the bottom gives a bit of bite to it. Walking along the pavements, you'll quickly become accustomed to the smell and sound of oil frying various snacks and the noise of the vendors shouting to passers-by. It's amazing how quickly these vendors pop up. My hostel's just about 100 meters down that way. And when I walked past about an hour ago, there's nobody here. And now it's absolutely jam packed full of traders. There's every kind of vegetable going, lots of tofu, and so much fresh fish. A lot which I recognize, quite a bit which I don't.
have come down to San Pia Fish Market by the jetty just outside of Yangon. And this is definitely not on the tourist trail for a few reasons. Firstly, it's an assault on all the senses. It's loud, it's particularly smelly. It also starts very early, although it does run all the way around the clock. If you want to see it at its peak, you need to come down between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. It's now about 7, so it's starting to die down a little bit already. But it's just such a brilliant way to see the way of life here. The market is loud, lively and smelly, but it's a friendly place and the hundreds of workers haul the catches from the boats early in the morning before deals and sales are done with restaurants and market sellers. Back in the city, I was keen to try some more local dishes. From 5pm, the streets really come alive. Vendors set up stalls and market traders line the streets selling fresh produce and tasty snacks. Street food is a cheap and fun way to get to know the cuisine of a destination and usually a good way to chat to locals. Minglava. Minglava. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Minglava. 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 So the final thing that I'm finishing my night with is almost like a buffet to be honest. There's a lot of places around the city and in fact all around Myanmar where you can get rice or egg fried rice and then they have a selection of meats and vegetables out. You can choose what you want and generally it's only going to be about 1,000, 2,000 so one or two dollars really. You get quite a good portion, served with side dishes of chilies and different spices and it's really filling, pretty healthy and very affordable. So the only slightly difficult task is deciding what to get or at least figuring out what everything is. So there's okra over here which they call ladyfinger and quite a few different types of chicken, a little bit of pork and then this here is like a blood pudding. So when I asked what it was, they did this. <laughs> this giant rat just came out from the side of me. Oh my God, he's huge. <laughs> So the food is actually very nice, but there is a giant rat just down there. And I shouldn't really be that surprised. They say in London, you're never less than 20 meters away from a rat, but they're seemingly a little bit more visible here in Yangon. Now the rice is very good. It's egg fried and it's been served with some pork and some okra. And virtually every meal that you get here is served with a soup, which is meant to be good for digestion. It's usually vegetarian. This one's got a lot of coriander in. Mm. And it's just quite a balanced meal, really. You've got your vegetables, got your meat, got your starch, always served with tea, and it's very cheap.